Here's a question for you. How is Airbnb, which has no physical assets whatsoever, valued at billions more than Hilton, the world's largest hotel group with over 800,000 rooms? Simple, non-financial KPIs. KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators to spell it out, are a way of measuring an organization's success. As accountants, you're used to monitoring financial KPIs, so why would you add in non-financial KPIs? The reality is, you can no longer determine the market value of a business just by looking at its finances. Non-financial assets have become much more important. Intangibles now make up over 80% of the total market value of the largest 500 US companies. And to measure intangibles, you need to use non-financial KPIs. Back to Airbnb. They use customer experience KPIs because they believe that customer experience lies behind their market valuation. The company simply asks its customers how likely they'd be to recommend Airbnb to a friend. They can use the customer experience KPI to monitor their success. A good customer experience leads to customer retention, which increases revenue and, crucially, the market value of the business. You can use non-financial KPIs to gain a more rounded picture of how your company makes money. You just need to decide which ones are the drivers of value. It could be customer satisfaction, like Airbnb, or something else. Product quality, supply chain efficiency, or service delivery. So here are our top three non-financial KPIs to get you started. One, customer satisfaction. Happy customers drive sales, business growth, and profits. Two, process efficiency. Reduce the time it takes to complete a process and you cut operating costs. Three, employee turnover. A low employee turnover means better retention of talent. So good luck. Non-financial KPIs can help you track your key business drivers. Who knows, maybe one day your company could be worth billions. <laughs>